I thought this black calvus was a male. <laughs> Look at this shell. Now she's looking around the aquarium for the other calvus. Expecting a lot more fry. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a spawn that happened in the fish room that took me by complete surprise. I was basically walking past the aquarium and then realized that these fish had spawned. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram, you would have known that these fish had spawned for me about three weeks ago. Over the last few videos, I've been telling you guys that are on Instagram now, and then if you want more regular updates about what's happening in the fish room, that you should be following me on Instagram. So if you do want those updates, be sure to follow me on that platform because I do post there more frequently than I do on YouTube. Anyway guys, on to this week's video. So guys, I was just walking past the tank. I haven't been in the fish room much today. Just come in here to feed them. And uh, I'm walking past and <laughs> look at this shell. Holy moly. Uh, I guess the two fish are female. That shouldn't be my first concern. My first concern is, what am I gonna do with the fry? Like, look how aggressive she is with me. Uh, I don't know where to put them. All the tanks at the top are full. What I might have to do is move the Kawanga Golds out and quickly clean that tank. And maybe I'll put mum in with the, with the fry. Or, <clears throat> I move all the calvus out and let her look after her fry. That might be an easier thing to do. I just don't know which fish she spawned with. I have no idea. But definitely, she has spawned with one of the new guys that are in this aquarium. Can't believe it. Yeah, well, I don't want to go near her and freak her out, but... Yeah, unbelievable. Okay, I've got to decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is going to be interesting, guys, because I'm going to be able to see how this calvus behaves with its spawn. Now, what I've done is I've removed the other three calvus out of the aquarium. I don't know what calvus she spawned with, but uh, they're in another aquarium. But before I show you those guys, just a quick rundown. I thought this black calvus was a male. This is one of the original pair that I had, and I recently bought two others. They are a lot smaller than this. Uh, than this calvus you see here and I introduced those two calvus to my original pair about a month or two ago now she's looking around the aquarium for the other calvus and she'll slowly realize that they're not in, they're no longer in here which is a good thing so normally I strip the fry from the calvus and put them in their own aquarium and raise them up myself but this female is behaving very differently to my other breeding pair which is uh, white calvus so this female here, she's defending that area, really defending her fry, defending that shell, and she used to be get she used to get bashed up by the other calvus that what from that was from my original pair. That other calvus used to bash this this calvus up, but this calvus here has become so aggressive over the last few days, and I didn't know why. Now I understand why, because she had eggs and fry in that in that shell. So I've. Just walked past the aquarium, literally walked past the aquarium, I was just about to feed them and noticed there was fry in the shell. Explained everything to me in that instant as to why her behaviour had changed so much. I just didn't think they had spawned and I thought that this fish was a male. So you can see her guarding that shell really well. Uh, she has no reason to be alarmed now. She's the only fish in this aquarium. So we're going to see. I decided to leave her in the aquarium and pull the other three out because of her behavior, the way she's behaving, she's really aggressive, uh, aggressively defending that area. My white calvus female, she doesn't do that at all. She'll hide in the shell or she'll swim away and let me catch the fry. Generally when, or every single time, the six times I've spawned the white Altolimpologus calvus, uh, the, the fry have been, I've found them far away from the shell at the front of the aquarium or at the back of the aquarium, very, very far away from the pair, from their parents. This is very different. She's really guarding that shell, so I decided to leave her with her fry in the aquarium. I noticed that a couple had exited the shell, so it's actually a good time that I walked past when I did. Now I'll show you where the other three are, the other three black calvers. I had to do some moving around of fish, and they're in here. So this aquarium had around 20 Kawanga gold fry in it. Those Kawanga gold fry I've had to just 
decide to move them into the main aquarium with their parents, have nowhere else to put them. And so there are three Alto Lampologus calvus, black calvus in this, in this aquarium for now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to really do some more juggling around because I'm not gonna have the room for these fry. Uh, you can see the fry at the edges of the shell. I don't want to stress the mother out. I've just popped some baby brine shrimp in this aquarium and turned the float off in the hope that some of them will go into the shell and the fry will be able to have a feed of baby brine shrimp. I noticed the female calvus, she was picking off the fry as well. Uh, she was picking off the baby brine shrimp as well. So really surprised, I was sure my original pair that I had bought were both male. Obviously this is a female. And because she is quite large, she's a lot larger than my white Altona Empologus calvus female. I'm expecting a lot more fry. So it's taken all up about two years to get these guys to spawn. Almost two years to get my black calvus to spawn. I had the original pair, one was smaller than the other, and they behaved like a pair until this calvus you see on camera grew to be the same size as my original larger black calvus. They acted like a pair until that point. Once this calvus you see on camera right now grew to be the same size as the original larger calvus, the fights began and they've fought ever since. And I decided to buy two more black calvus. And this, the black calvus I bought, they look like a pair as in one is smaller than the other. That's about it. They constantly fight as well. There was no other indication that they were a pair. They just looked like male or female, just purely based on size. But again, they were fighting constantly in quarantine. In slowly introduced them into this aquarium with my original two, which are obviously quite larger than those that, the two that I bought a few months back. But I can only assume that one of those two has spawned with this female. And they are significantly smaller than her. I don't know which two it was. I never saw interactions between the two. It may have been the very, very smaller one. <laughs> I'll be very surprised at that. Uh, and it possibly could have been the larger of those two that I just purchased, which I am positive is a male because it's so, so aggressive. It's even very aggressive with the two that were in this aquarium originally, my original pair. So maybe this female spawned with the larger of the two that I recently purchased, but I can't be sure. So I've pulled out all three calvus and left this girl in here with her baby so she can relax and not have to chase the other calvus away. And uh, yeah, let's see how she goes. This could be my experiment, I suppose. In uh, a couple of videos ago when I respawned my white calvus, you can see, the male, oh, you can't see the male. Male's in the cave there. Uh, this is my, my white calvus breeding pair aquarium. This is their tank. Uh, when I spawned them the last time, I said on camera I was gonna move the shell with the female in it into another tank and see how the fry success rate goes with that transition because I've never done that before. I normally take the babies out because I find them all scattered throughout the aquarium at the front of the tank, away from the male. So. That's my indication, just to pull the fry out and raise them myself. Uh, so yeah, with the sixth spawn on with these guys, I said I was gonna move the shell out with the female. Or I was contemplating it and I ran out of time and the fry just exited the shell. So I just had to do my regular routine. So I couldn't do that experiment to see how they, those fry would survive. So far the fry are perfectly fine by themselves. Here's their older brothers and sisters, quite skittish with me holding a mobile phone in front of them and the return pump's just turned on too, so that scared them <laughs> twice. Uh, I had the return pumps in feed mode purely to feed the black calvus fry. And then yeah, here's the black calvus female. So, experiments being run, we'll see how she goes. Hopefully she'll look after the fry and these guys will have a better success rate uh, at survival. We'll see. Can't believe it guys, really, really surprised. Didn't expect this in the slightest. This tank was due for a react escape. Won't be happening anytime soon now, uh, considering there's a spawn in here. There you go, guys. Really, really happy. Amazing. <laughs> so it's the day after I've seen the fry in that shell. 
and there's fry strewn throughout the aquarium now. So you can see one there, and then there's one there. So there are a couple that I've been able to find in the tank, but obviously Mum is defending them still. She's not liking me next to the tank, and there are a load of fry in the shell still. So. Good signs of Kashi's acting, the way she's behaving with me near her babies. So that's a good sign, she's looking after them still. Uh, there's some behind the shell, I'm not going to bother showing you those, it's like one or two, and I don't want to stress the female out. So I've just fed them some baby brine shrimp, and there are loads in the shell. She a beautiful calvus. Look at her. Beautiful female. And yeah, I'm really, really happy, really proud of her looking after her fry so far. Nice to see. Hopefully this continues. It's alright, good. So there you have it guys, the black Alto Lamprologus calvus finally spawning for me after almost two years of trying really paid off to buy those additional two because as I said in the video, the two that I had weren't spawning at all. They were fighting, purchased the additional two and within the space of about two months of purchasing them, they went through a quarantine period. They finally, one of them had finally spawned with the two that I had. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video and found it informative. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, comment and subscribe buttons. I really would appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.